Can I have a word with you, ma'am? Go ahead, X6. Ma'am, I have a great deal of respect for your importance. The Institute is my life, and you're its future. I get that. The thing is, ma'am, I don't know if you get it. Now, I know you didn't have the benefit of growing up in the Institute, like I did. But ma'am, you still need to understand that we have a certain way of doing things. And there are reasons for that. Judging by your actions and your choices lately, I don't think you grasp that. Frankly, ma'am, I'm not sure you're the right person to lead the Institute into the future. You're right, X6. I guess I've just been following my instincts and not using my head. If you say so, ma'am. You need to think about the bigger picture and what is and isn't important for the future of the Institute. You can't disregard that and then expect anyone to respect you. What's more, you'll be turning your back on everything your son has accomplished. In a very real way, ma'am. Your son's legacy is your legacy. You should be proud of that legacy, and you should want to protect it. You're right. I'll take that legacy more seriously from now on. I hope you will, ma'am. In any case, I'm with you for now, sir. Whether it stays that way is up to you. All right, that's it. I don't care whose mother you are. I can't take this anymore. Whoa, wait a second. Let's discuss this. We tried that, but I guess you weren't really listening. I've been willfully ignorant. I wanted to believe you were a worthy successor to Father. The Institute is everything to me, and the thought of it falling apart in the hands of an incompetent leader is too painful to contemplate. So I tried to explain away the things you've done. I made excuses for you in my mind. I gave you another chance, then another. Well, I've run out of lies to tell myself. It's time for us both to face a hard truth, ma'am. You don't deserve to be the head of the Institute. You're not qualified. For father's sake, I'll respect your position as his successor. But you've done everything in your power to make sure I don't respect you. You and I, as a team, are finished. I won't put my life in the hands of someone I can't respect. X6, if you turn your back on me now, I'll find a way to make you regret it. Selfish to the end. I won't pretend to be surprised. I have nothing more to say, ma'am. From here on out, you're on your own. Functions terminated. You and I, as a team, are finished. I won't put my life in the hands of someone I can't respect. You're right. I've let you down, and I'm truly sorry for that. Now please, don't go. I have every reason to say no to you. I feel like no matter what I've said in the past, you've just ignored me. But for father's sake, I'll give you this one last chance to change your ways. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Human. Listen to Strong. Okay, I'm... I'm listening. Good. Do as Strong say. Super mutants share with super mutants. Humans should share with humans. This human bad at sharing. Human not fight. Let other humans see human is weak. Too much talk. Need more smashing. Human bad leader. Strong think maybe go away. I'll try to be better. More sharing and smashing. Good. Strong still want to find milk of human kindness. Need human to find milk. Strong mad. Strong angry. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down, big guy. Not calm down. Human, horrible leader. Human, do all things wrong. Human, take from other humans. Not give, not share. Human, always talk when should fight. Human, always look weak to other humans.
Hold up. We need to have some words. Hmm, I'll make some time for you. The railroad isn't exactly loved out there. A lot of people look at synths as murderous machines. So you can imagine how popular that makes us. Others could give a shit. They just want to farm, trade, thieve, or whatever. Their beef with us is collateral damage. But, but, we're the good guys. You know that, I do too. But it's kinda hard to do PR when we're hiding in a hole in the ground. My point in this is, sometimes you're adding more reasons for them to distrust, and even hate us. And that makes our job harder down the line. We need to win over John Q. Public, and that's a tough proposition at the best of times. Okay, I'll take it to heart. Traveling with you, I've gained a lot of respect for you. In this business, sometimes you need to be tough, and I'm all for that. But if you go too far, then you're just following in Glory's footsteps. And that's a path I won't take. There. I've said my piece. That's it. I've hit my limit. Listen, we've had a good run, but I need to fly solo again. But I thought we had a good thing. Sometimes I think you're the best agent we've ever had. And other times, the railroad needs people like you and Glory. So it's good to have you both on our team. But your style and mine are completely opposite. Can't we talk about it? I want to keep traveling with you. Not gonna happen. Sorry. We'll be seeing each other a lot, and I'm not one to hold grudges. Just remember, we're trying to help people, not make the garbage dump stink even more. Paladin. We need to talk. Now. Take it easy. I'm listening. Take it easy? If I lost my calm, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Now listen up, because I'm only going to tell you this once. We're out here in the Commonwealth, representing the Brotherhood of Steel. And I'm doing my damnedest to keep you on the straight and narrow by taking you under my wing and showing you the way. But it seems you've decided to throw all that away. To ignore everything I've been teaching you. If you decide to continue along this path, I can't, I won't, be a part of it any longer. We'll end our partnership and go our separate ways. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was affecting our relationship. Well then, consider this your wake-up call. It's never too late to evaluate yourself and change. I know there's still potential within you. What I think you need to do is step back and take a good look at yourself. If I'm right, I don't think you'll like what you'll see. And then maybe you'll do something about it. Now let's get moving. I've had it. We're through. Whoa, calm down. Let's talk about it. Your words mean nothing to me. I told you I wasn't going to put up with your disregard for the Brotherhood's rules. Plain and simple. But you've apparently decided to ignore everything I've taught you. And worse still, you've dishonored the Brotherhood with your actions. I trusted you, soldier. Now you've taken that trust and cast it aside like you didn't have a care in the world. Well, I've had just about all I can stomach. You've left me no choice. I'm done with you. Finally, I'm surprised you stuck around this long. Unbelievable. I gave you a chance and you squandered it. I'll provide you whatever advice you need to defeat our common enemy, but you can consider our partnership terminated. Advic Victorium, sister. <sighs> well, I've had just about all I can stomach. You've left me no choice. I'm done with you. Look, Dance, I... I'm really sorry. Why the hell should I believe you? Because I... Because I care about you. You... You what? Well, if it's true, you certainly have a strange way of showing it. <sighs> I'm willing to give you another chance. But mark my words. If you stray from the path again, we're through. Hey, point out what you need and I'll get right on. We need to talk. Right now. Sounds important. You're damn right it's important. So listen up. I don't know what's gotten into you lately, but it feels like you're doing everything you can to piss me off. After Tommy dumped me into your lap, I was hoping we could get along. I didn't expect things between us to be going this badly. What the hell's going on? 
We've got a good thing going here and you're throwing it away. Now I don't like mincing me words, so I'm gonna be straight with you. Cut the shite or I'm walking. I'll try. I'm sorry, Kate. Don't be sorry, just be smarter. Or else I'm walking. Okay, let's rest a second. That's it, I've had enough. Calm down. Let's talk about it. No, it's too late for that. This isn't the first time I told you I didn't like how things were going between us. But I guess you decided what I wanted wasn't important enough. Fine. I'm sick and tired of watching you piss away everything we built together. So I'll make it easy on you by getting out of your way. Good riddance. There. You just proved me point. You know, I really thought that you were going to be different. That you actually cared. But I can see that I was just wasting me time. You're the same as all the rest. Well, guess what? Now you can walk around the Commonwealth alone. I'm done with you. And don't try to follow me. Or I'll make you regret it. No! I... I'm sick and tired of watching you piss away everything we built together. So I'll make it easy on you by getting out of your way. I'm sorry, Kate. I mean it. I don't know. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't leave. Because... I have feelings for you. I... I don't know. Half of me wants to hug you. The other half of me wants to rip out your throat. Look, I'll cut you a deal. If you start making things right with me, I'll stick around. But if you're fucking with me, our little partnership is gonna end faster than a knife fight in a Pulowski. Now let's get moving. Mom, I simply must speak with you. All right, Codsworth, let's... let's talk. Hear me out. While the idea of taking a scolding turn to an adult appalls me, you leave me little choice. Mum, I have watched you plummet from a woman of compassion to a mere heathen. If I didn't know you before the war, I'd say you were no better than the raiders that blight the Commonwealth today. I don't want to abandon you, but you would certainly be forcing my hand. Don't leave, Codsworth. I can change. I can do this. Every circuit of my being wants to believe you, Mum. But I've heard those words before. I do hope this time you mean it. Miss Ashley. Codsworth. Mum, I cannot remain silent on this. I must speak with you. What's wrong, Codsworth? While it pains me to do so, I'm handing in my resignation. I've viewed your actions through a rose-colored lens for long enough. It's time I accepted the truth. This is no hero's quest to exhume the Commonwealth from the ashes of atomic war. This is a farce, and I will no longer be a part of it. Leave, then. Last thing I need is some robot laying on the guilt every time I make a move. You know, on second thought, go. I'm done. Ah, the first order in a long time that I'm actually proud to follow. Farewell, Mum. If only the husband could see you now. Mum, I'm, I'm dying. This is a farce, and I will no longer be a part of it. No, Codsworth, stay. You're right. And starting now, I'm going to change. And why should I believe you this time? My memory files don't lie, Mum. You've said almost those very words before. Please, stay. You're all I have. The only good thing left. Mum, if that's true, then of course I'll stay. Just do try to turn your life around. Any further slip-ups, and it's a true farewell. So, shall we journey forth then, Mum? Hey, you take one too many blows to the head? You seem upset. Manage to piece that one together yourself, huh? First sense you've shown in a while. Now look, I ain't been pleased with how things have been going. And I ain't gonna keep traveling with someone who's not willing to get their hands dirty trying to help the folks that need it. So, you got a choice. You either need to change the way you're making decisions, or you need to find yourself someone else to travel with. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to make you so angry. Keep your apologies. Just listen. If you want to keep traveling together, I need you to start acting like you ain't afraid to help people out here. You do that, we won't have any more problems. Now come on. I'm done talking. Stop. Sure. What's up? What's up? We're finished. That's what's up. You had your chance to clean up the mess you've been leaving behind. I ain't gonna stand by watching anymore. There's folks that really need us out here. Folks we could be helping. But I guess that was never the plan, was it? No, the plan was to do things my way. And if you don't like it, you can go. I've been thinking the same thing. You better watch your back out there. Some folks won't stand for your kind. Never thought I would. One last trip. But I guess that was never the plan, was it? Please. I know I screwed up. But don't go. And why the hell shouldn't I? Come on! Are you really gonna pass up probably the best opportunity you'll have to kick some ass? Well, I... Uh, I guess you got a good point. All right. Oh, I'll stay. For now. But you need to make things right. No more bullshit. You change, or I go. Excuse me. We should talk. You can always speak your mind with me. This is a difficult subject. I have been programmed to behave in accordance with a set of societal norms and etiquette. All too often, I find you break these conventions, and this makes me greatly uncomfortable. Perhaps it is best if we terminate our arrangement? No, we should stay together. If we do, please treat others with more care. We must talk right now. I have come to my wit's end. I came to the surface to further science and to make a positive impact on people's lives. Though we do some good, all too often you carelessly hurt those around you. And this, this I can no longer be part of. I don't need another lecture. Then I will not bore you with one. I hold on to the vain hope that you learn something from our time together, but I fear you are hopeless. Adieu. For good. This I can no longer be part of. I'll do better. How am I supposed to believe this? You focus only on yourself. As soon as it suits you, I expect you will hurt others again. Kiri, give me another chance. You won't regret it. Oh, I find it hard to believe. Fine. I realize that the whole Commonwealth is a cesspool, but to make it better, we must rise above it. So treat the innocents with respect, and I will be content. If you can show them a little kindness, so much the better. But continue this present course, and we are through! Hold up. There's something we need to talk about. Calm down. I'm listening. I'll calm down if you're willing to listen to reason. I don't know what the hell's gotten into you lately. Everything you've been doing, every decision you make seems like exactly the opposite of how I do it. Now, I never said I was in charge, but damn. If you didn't want my help or advice, why did you hire me in the first place? It's almost like you wish I wasn't around. Is that what you want? No. I'd like you to stay. Then stop acting like you don't. Look, I'm tired of talking about this, so I'll just lay it on the line. If you want me to stick around, you better wake up. It's time you started realizing that this little partnership is a two-way street. <coughs> Stop! We need to talk. Right now, damn it! Whoa, whoa! Let's calm down and talk about this. Talk? Why bother? I told you I didn't like how our little partnership was going. And I warned you if it didn't change, I was going to walk. But you decided to throw everything I said out the window and do things your own way. Well, I'm here to tell you that I won't be bugging you about it anymore. Because I'm leaving! Good riddance. That's all you have to say? Really? You know what? Fuck you. That's right. Fuck you. I promised someone that I'd never talk like that again. But I think in this case, they'd make an exception. No! Please! No! 
Well, I'm here to tell you that I won't be bugging you about it anymore. Because I'm leaving! Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize it was getting this bad. I don't know. If there's a reason I should stay, you better make it a good one. Because I care about you. Well, you sure have a funny way of showing it. Look, I'm going to give you a break. You're dealing with some serious issues, and I know it's not easy working them out. But I've got to tell you, there's only so much I'm going to be able to take. This is your last chance. All I'm asking is that you listen to me once in a while. And start acting like you care. It really isn't that hard. Um, hey, got a sec? We need to talk. Right now. All right, I'm listening. Look, when we first met, I could tell you were different. I thought maybe you could help us turn things around and really help make the Commonwealth a better place. What I've seen lately, though, is someone who doesn't care about anyone but himself. You hear what I'm saying? Maybe I have made a few mistakes. Hey, we all do. It's human nature. Look, all I'm asking for is a little more consideration, all right? Think about the consequences of your actions and how they affect people. I don't expect you to be a saint, but I can tell you're a good person at heart. I know it's easy to take advantage of people or solve problems with violence, but there's a better way, and we need to show people that. You're right. I can be a better person. It's a hard road we walk, but it's worth it. Years from now, people are going to look back and they're going to remember us. They're going to say, they made a difference. They gave us hope. Anyway, thanks for letting me talk. We're good now. You've gone too far. We're done. Take it easy, Preston. I'm sure we can work this out. I don't think so. Not after the kind of things you've done. I tried to tell you before that I wasn't happy with what you were doing. I thought I got through to you. But it's obvious now that you were just telling me what I wanted to hear. You're just out for number one. And the whole rest of the world be damned. I can't close my eyes to it anymore. And I've had enough of your holier-than-thou attitude. You're a real piece of work. You know that. You're the leader of the men and men now, whether I like it or not. But I don't have to personally help you make our reputation even worse than it was. I'll still follow your orders as a loyal men and men. But our friendship, that's over. <laughs> You're just out for number one and the whole rest of the world be damned. I can't close my eyes to it anymore. I'm sorry, Preston. I can do better. I'd like to believe you mean it this time, but how do I know you're not just telling me what I want to hear? I understand what you're saying. I'll turn things around. I promise. Fine. I'll give you one more chance. But if things keep on the same way they've been going, then count on it. We're done. I hope you really mean it this time. We need to talk about how this is going. Okay, let's talk. What's wrong? I'm looking at it. I want you to know I appreciate the things you've done for me. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stand idly by while you play escaped inmate with the people of the Commonwealth. So let me lay it out straight. If you still want my help, then you've got to change. I'm sorry. I'll make this right. I appreciate it, but you're not gonna fix this with talk. You either start acting the part, or you're gonna have to find a new partner. Stop. Now. Ooh, trouble keeping up? That's a lifetime of smoking, finally catching up with you. No. No more jokes. You looked me in the eye and told me you were going to shape up. But that was just another load of bull. Well, you're on your own now, toots. Boo-hoo. What'll I do without my robotic best friend? An irritant to the end. I'd tell you to try and not get yourself killed, but why would you start listening now? Well, you're on your own now, toots. Nick, wait. I can change, really. You had your chance. Why the hell would I stick around now? Because we're partners, through thick and thin. I can't imagine trying to do this without you. You know, you sure got a funny way of showing your fondness for others. All right, fine. But seriously, drop the buffoon act. 
because this is your last shot. There won't be another. Hey, stop. Please. All right. What's up? I need you to hear this. Because how you've been acting ain't gonna fly. Maybe I'm partially to blame. Maybe I didn't lay out what I wanted clear enough from the start. But the choices you've been making... I don't know how anyone with a heart can do things like that. So if you want to keep traveling together, I need you to find yours. Quick. I'm sorry, Piper. I didn't realize I'll change. You're gonna have to. Now come on, let's go. Blue! Present. No, no more jokes. You listen here. I thought I made it real clear. Start treating people with some decency, or start looking for someone else to boss around. You even told me you were gonna change. I feel like such an idiot. You never even heard a word I said, did you? I hear you now, and I'm sorry. And just why the hell should I believe you? You mean something to me, Piper. I'm not ready to let that go. Ah, uh, no. You're not talking your way out of this one. You and I are through. And please, don't stay in touch. heard a word I said, did you? I hear you now, and I'm sorry. And just why the hell should I believe you? You mean something to me, Piper. I'm not ready to let that go. Ugh. Why do you do this to yourself, Piper? Oh, all right. I'll stay. But I can't keep begging you to change. So this is it. Last chance. Get this right or I'm gone. <laughs> 